But when I felt trapped, that's when doors would open. They said God makes a way, that's how I know I'm chosen. You can throw stones and try to judge me, but God loves me, God loves me. You can chastise and try to treat me ugly, but God loves me, God loves me. You can't be insolent and act like you're above me, but God loves me. The next time we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is would an Usyk victory over Joshua make him the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport? And I'm going to turn it over to boxing analyst Trill Dollar Bill Nostradamus, the commission. It's going to make everybody go crazy for the next six months. And then that's what's going to be the debate. The debate's going to be up there. Who's gonna? Who's the number one pound for pound star, right? And it's still gonna be Canelo. And I think that he would follow, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, just it'll be a great victory. But I think Canelo still got that number one spot for you know what he's doing, and and and. But I think that Usyk would be right underneath him. You know, Usyk's got to defend that title. And I think once he defends it, then he'll probably, you know, but I think right off the bat, at, at first people will be like, yeah, then when it sets in, probably say he's number two, unless he can defend it. And then, you know, you'll probably, probably be considered, you know, number one pound for pound. All right, Mr. Z. I humbly disagree with Trill on this one. Usa would definitely be with number one pound for pound on my list. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Canelo will have to get dropped to number two. And the reason why is I, I just have to be honest. Heavier the weight, <laughs> the, the more difficult it is, man. These the punches hurt more. You know what I mean? And Usyk's not a big guy. So Usyk takes out Joshua. Joshua, who's what, six six? Like, bruh, you gotta give Usyk that number one uh uh pound for pound, because of all the accolades at Cruiserweight, then moving up and and literally dethroning the, the, the face of the heavyweight division. you got to give that man that number one slot. Like, Canelo's, it's cute what Canelo's doing at 160 and 168. Yeah, but it ain't heavyweight, bro. I don't know, man. Heavyweight, to me, is like, it, it's just the difficulty <laughs> level, the, the, the punishment. Like, come on, son. He's going up against, like, like it's it's literally David versus Goliath, you know. You know what I'm saying? So if 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 uh Usyk defeats Joshua, bro, he's he's definitely on my number one pound for pound. Cause I don't I don't think uh Canelo's accomplishments could 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 supersede uh Usyk's accomplishments at cruiser and now at heavyweight as champions, multiple belts and multiple and, and, and two divisions. I'm just saying, man, it's the th and the biggest divisions too. Wow. Being real, these are these are the, now Canelo's doing stuff in 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 the lighter weights. Like I'm not I'm not discrediting the lighter weights, but as you get up there, punches really 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 hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like so, Usyk could pull this off, man. To me, he's pound for pound on my list. <laughs> Yo, I. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, all right, TV. <laughs> Go ahead, TV. Uh, yo, G's delusional as always. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what I want to say is, oh, oh, how about AJ? Hey, hey, can you please explain why I'm delusional, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, the objective thing is pound for pound. It's bro. just I'm not delusional. Canelo, can yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, Canelo is yeah. gaining weight. Uh, no one's Canelo, saying. <laughs> no, no, let's hey, don't say me. I got this. Canelo, Canelo can see any cruiser, and if if Usyk won it, yo, he's right there. He could when Canelo make cruiser. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking. I'm All forecasting right. or foreshadowing. G, fall back. When Canelo make cruiser weight, Usyk, your opportunity is right there to prove yourself too. Like you, power, you number one powerful power if you beat AJ. And you know, right there, you know, I told you every, ever since I told you, day one, Canelo's gaining weight. It's going to happen. Undisputed. Canelo versus AJ. Pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. Well, I'm, 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 I'm,
You know what I'm saying? You're talking about a, a guy who has been champion in four different weight classes and yeah. keeps proving himself, and his resume proves he's got the best resume in boxing. Mm-hmm. You know, he got one of the best resumes in boxing. And he has proven himself over and over again. And what he's been doing back to back to back fighting these guys has been listen, he's he's proved that he is pound for pound is gonna take one just more than one fight to dethrone him as the king at at, at number one. That's what thousand percent what Tro said, yo. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, Usyk, right, that's Usyk it. doesn't stand up to that, but Usyk will be number two. I will put him number two, but yo, yeah, that's what the team. <laughs> when I fight that cruiserweight, it could happen, you know. I see it happening. Yo, right, yo, so I'm gonna jump in. This is a this is a scenario where I actually agree with everyone, but for different reasons. Now, G, I think you're tripping when you say that Usyk's accomplished more. Canelo Alvarez has victories that Usyk doesn't have, like high quality victories. You're talking about like Triple G, for example. His victory over Triple G was massive. That's one of the biggest victories in the sport. That was also a pay-per-view extravaganza. And like you look at Canelo Alvarez, he beat No Doubt Trout when that was a big deal. He has victories over Miguel Coro, Sugar Shane Mosley. Of course, I'm not saying that these dudes were in their prime, but they were still really good. And they still, you know, they weren't washed up when he beat these guys. But he's been in there with his Andy Laura, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Sugar Cold Shane, Cotto. Then you go up in weight. He's been in there with Triple G. He's been in there with Daniel Jacobs. He's been in there with Sergey Kovalev. Callum Smith. Mm-hmm. Callum, excuse me. Callum mm-hmm. Smith. Callum was Smith. Number, 40 Cal. Callum <laughs> Smith was just ranked number one by every rating source. You, you, you go Box Rex, you go ESPN. Ring Magazine, whatever uh, you know, rating system you trust, Callum, 40 Cal was ranked number one. Canelo walked through him like he was nothing. So you can't sit there and say, once again, like making Canelo a victim of his own success, that all oh, those fights are easy. I get it. Like, the heavyweight oh, division. That's not easy. I don't think no, I said, no, no. I mean, I just, said like, it. They don't compare to a heavyweight fight. I just have it with different. Heavyweights knock out. Heavyweights are known for having more power. And But you can't act like once you hit the 168 division, these guys are feather dusters. They, they got popped too. Fact, they right. knock people out too. When he was facing Triple G, Triple G was known as the big drama show. Triple G was knocking everyone out. So you can't sit there and act like Canelo has never been put into a fight where he was he was in danger of being knocked out. People thought Triple what G was going to knock him out. People I thought Kovalev. Kovalev got a body in the ring for real. Kovalev's a killer. I, now listen, let me just clear this up. I'm not saying Canelo hasn't defeated killers. That's not what I was saying at all. I was just saying, me personally, I give more credit the heavier you go up because the heavier you go up, the more dangerous it is. That's That was my argument. I wasn't saying that Canelo... Remember, Canelo's on number one right now. He uh, went up. If Usyk beats <laughs> Canelo, he'll... I'll bump him up above Canelo, me personally. Well, but, you know, you can't... You can't I mean, you can't, can't you want him to go up, G. Yeah, yeah. You can only do that to a certain degree, brother, because, like, some people just naturally can't go up like that. I mean, you're looking at you're looking at a scenario where like Ned just said, you know, it's gonna face AJ for undisputed one day. That's Ned though, but like it's gonna <laughs> happen. It's gonna <laughs> happen, bro. You know, how many people see in Ned's belief? And if that happens, kudos to Ned. He would really have called that. And we're gonna have to come back. You know what? If that happens, he's Ned Nostradamus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, giving him, the I'm <laughs> giving him the title. <laughs> But now, getting back to it, Canelo has actually really faced uh, some serious opposition. He's put himself in position where he could have been knocked out. And you're talking about he might go up and face Arthur Betterbeeve and these other guys, Bavol, and then he's going to put himself in even more risk. So let's wait for that. Here's what I see happening. If Usyk beats Anthony Joshua, I believe he will get ranked number one. 
He'll get ranked number one because everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, he pulled off the improbable. And that's mainly because people are underestimating him and acting like he has no shot. But his reign at the top will be shorter than Leprechaun's because in November, when Canelo beats Caleb Plant and becomes undisputed at 168, he will regain the number one spot. But... Usyk will hold it briefly if he does meet Anthony Joshua. That's what I foresee. <laughs> if it happens, of course. Yeah. That's how I see it, yeah. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out Phantom's new album, Destined for Stardom. And please check out Walk With Me out now on YouTube. That's the music video. We are the Boxing Bros. And also be on the lookout Monday for the release of Zombie Ray's music video to Facts. 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 <laughs> with ain't seen bleak, walk with me. To navigate these streets, walk with me.